Mrs. Funky Bella, aka Mrs. Fabulous, aka Fabulous Funky, one and only wife of MC Tende Bella. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, the sun is shining, we're having lunch outside, and I thought, hmm, what drink can I make? Yes, you guessed right, Zobo. We're making Zobo. And Zobo is hibiscus tea drink. It's like a herbal and a normal drink. So you get two in one for the value of Zobo. So I'm going to show you how I make Zobo today. Stay tuned. <music> These are the ingredients I put in my Zobo. First of all, you need dried hibiscus flower leaves. So dried Zobo leaves, or some people call it sorrel. If you're looking for it in, in the UK, look for sorrel. You can buy it online. You can buy it in Morrison's as that added. Most shops sell, sell dried sorrel leaves these days. You need whole ripe plantain. Uh, no, not plantain. You need whole ripe pineapple. <laughs> whole ripe pineapple. I'm going to need the, the, the skin, the outside, and you need the inside. I'll show you how you need both in a sec. You need ginger. I use oranges as well as honey and cinnamon. There are a variety of other ingredients that people put in their zobo but these are the ones i put in my zobo so i'll show you first thing i'm going to prepare the sorrel leaves so the first thing i'll do is rinse the zobo leaves so i'm going to wash the zo uh, sorrel zobo is the same thing so i'm gonna wash so just empty it into a bowl like that like that and then put some lukewarm water over it this is just to clean the lips of any unwanted particles so the water will turn pink that's fine you need to get rid of it you can't you can't use this water you need to really rinse off your lips so rinse it off Get rid of that. So the, you don't need that. You won't lose all your nutrients. And then just rinse it again. And discard it. So once your sorrel leaves are nice and clean, put them into your desired pot. Next step, I'm going to prep the pineapple and the oranges. And I told you earlier that we'll be needing the back and the inside of the pineapple. So we'll need to scrub the pineapple down really well, really clean. We don't want no stones in our zobo. And we'll wash the oranges as well. So I'll be doing that now first and then I'll come and cut it off. Okay, so now I'm going to cut my pineapple. We need the back for the for the tea so we'll put that into here because we're going to wash it again so put that in here so i've washed the back of the pineapple again and now I toss it with the sorrel leaves in the pot. And next, I'm going to cut the oranges into small pieces. So next, I add the cut up up um, oranges. 
So next I'll add the blended pineapple, the rest of the pineapples and the ginger. So I've blended it quickly and in it goes. Next goes the cinnamon. You can use cinnamon sticks, but I don't have cinnamon sticks. So I'm using ground cinnamon that goes in. And next goes the honey. Honey is for sweetness. This is entirely optional. You don't have to put honey in it. So all the ingredients are in now. I just top it up with water to the to the top of um, to the top of all the ingredients and I put it on heat and I leave it to boil once it starts to boil I time it for five minutes so once it starts to boil it only stays on the heat for five minutes till I turn the heat off okay now it has started to boil we don't want it to boil for too long because we want to retain all our vitamin c so we'll set our timer for five minutes and on the dot of five minutes we'll turn the heat off we'll turn the heat off i'll just give it one last there And we'll leave it to brew for at least two hours you can leave it to brew overnight but because we're filming and we would like to have this drink today we'll leave it to brew for two hours and we'll be right back okay so uh um doubly i've been brewing for nearly three hours now or more than three hours even so we're going to strain it and yeah, that's the next step. We're going to strain it. So, next straining. Look how red and juicy it is. So, that's step one. Step two, I'm going to add a little bit more water to get a little bit more of that flavor. So the next step now is to sieve it again because you don't want all those tiny particles to still be left in there. So I'm going to pass it through a smaller sieve. Okay, so the final stage is another sieve. So you sieve it and sieve it and sieve it until all the tiny particles of ginger and uh, pineapples gone so i'm gonna sieve it into a serving job now it's ready all sieved and ready to be enjoyed i'm going to serve it and show you now As the sun sets tonight, we sit here enjoying our Zobu. Tunde is having his cold and I'm having mine hot. You can have it either way. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.